I'll tell you, Kai, I got a double header. A really a, nice fish here. I'm going to bow out of this picture here and get the net. Thank you. Yeah, I got a single Joe's hit. got a good sized fish up on top, but I got two Whoa, really look at good this, fish. Guys, look at this. Look whales behind, coming up too. behind us. He's got two whales coming right. Three whales. Rich, I got a couple oh, whales. I'm looking right at a whale. <laughs> All right, we're going to try to get the bottom, get the bottom one, one first. There oh. we go. Now that is a healthy couple. I'm looking for hard. I don't know which way to go. Whales and whale cod. <laughs> Whales and whale cod. Very nice, Joe. No, again. Northeast Angling. We're proud to present inshore and offshore saltwater fishing. We cover every species from fluke and porgies to stripers, sharks, and tuna. You can learn more about techniques, tackle, and destinations at neangling.com. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, here we are, we're in Hyannis Harbor. Our guest today is Captain Joe Huckemeyer. Joe, you've been running a party boat here for how long now? 11 years out of Hyannis. 11, and originally you were from? Uh, Sheepshead Bay in Brooklyn. Very nice, very nice. Well, you got a couple of New York guys aboard today. We're excited to get in on this cod bite that you got going here. Well, we're gonna head off uh, to the western end of George's Bank. We've got about a 50 mile run. Uh, we'll get on some hard bottom there. See if we can get on some nice sized cod. I'm looking forward to it. You know, we got a flat calm sea here. The run should be beautiful. So we're going to punch it and let's go. That's Sounds good. good. Nice, nice little run, about 55 miles, and didn't take long for Joe to start showing us how it's done. <laughs> now again, we're fishing a couple of different methods here. Andy and I are baiting it. Joe, you got a jig on there. Fishing, uh, what is that, 16, how many, oh, there's a bite. How many yeah. ounces, Joe? 12 ounce jig and a, and a teaser just above it. I just had a tap there. And you know, and Rich and I are making sure we're in about 200 feet of water here. Oh, missed him. Touch Andy? Yeah, a little touch there. About 200 feet of water, and we're making sure we maintain contact with the bottom. Feel like a decent fish, Joe? Uh, not, not too big, not too big. Oh, oh there we go. In. Andy's, Andy's in. in. All right, there we here go. we go. Oh, this nice little, little fish. A little better? Yeah. Now, I want to try to keep clear of you guys. Now, we're fishing braided line here, 80-pound uh, test, right, Joe? Oh, we got a pollock. Got a pollock. Oh. Nice looking fish. Beautiful fish. It's up on the teaser. OK. And we can net that fish, but that fish is going to be you okay to have swing this one. right in there. Very nice, very nicely done pretty fish, aren't they? Tell you what, guys, I don't have a bad bad little fish here. Feel good, Eddie? Yeah, it feels pretty good. Not too bad, huh? Oh, pretty. They Very nice pretty. fish. Now, what's the size limit on those, Joe? Uh, 19 inches. This is well, well, well over the keeper. Now, again, in this depth, Joe, um, I mean, obviously, we know it's a good eating fish. That's not something we really want to let go right now, is it? Or? Now, this is a keeper. This is a nice fish to, to take home to eat. Oh, we got the cooler in the yep. back. We can drop that in the back, and we'll have that for dinner tonight, that's for sure. Right in the floor over there, right there, Joe. Andy, I'm not on you, am I? Oh, oh. I don't think so. There we go. There's a fish. Still got him there? Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Ah, you know what? Ah. Let's see if, uh, see if that fish has got a friend. I, I hope think, so. You know what, Joe? I think you're, you're setting a record on a quick start here. Andy, right, I don't, we're, we, we might are. be tied in. So, yep, you're under me. There you go. There we go. Let's work that. Oh, let me tell dancing. you. Let me tell you, baby. This is what we came here for. Uh, these are some nice fish here, too. Oh. You what? might have a better shot at the uh, cod with the bait versus the jig. Yeah, you think A lot think of so? times the pollock, the pollock are fast on the jig. Yeah. I see a little bit of color there now. Some color coming up. Not yep. a bad There's fish. There's a nice anyway. cod. Got him in kind of a good spot there. Perfect hook. Right in the corner of the mouth. All right. 
And you know, these fish are a little bit bigger than this, we'll break the net out. But for the most part, we just lift these in. Nice fish, Andy. Look at fish. And Joe, we're gonna send it, set this one back. Yep. Now, Joe, generally when you hook these fish, just a steady, slow retrieve, Ste right? Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to jerk it up and down. You want to keep it steady, because uh, every the first the first time you pull on it, you're setting the hook. Right. Every time after that, you're pulling the hook out. I hear you, bud. Pretty little guy. Let's get him back in there. He took off too. Give him a nice, good shove down. Get him started. Here comes my guy. Yeah. Here you go. Oh. Right up in the corner of the mouth again too. We now we're using. Uh, 7-0 Gamagatsu octopus style hook. Yep, you octopus say, hook is... You prefer the octopus? Yeah, octopus hook is a nice sharp hook. The Gamagatsu is uh, probably the, the sharpest of them all. Yeah, I, I go with you on that. Now, release on this fish, generally head first, straight head, down? Head first. Most, most fish, as long as you don't, uh, with the cod, as long as you don't reel them real fast, they'll, they'll survive. Oop, there you there's go, there's a man working. Oh, there you go, there's that fish. Oh, you got a little oh, double header there. Look at it, this is, a, this is a, an interesting uh, double header, huh? Oh, yeah. there you go, Andy. Yeah, we don't want the... Uh, Oh, oh, that looks a little better, Andy. Yeah, it's a little smooth. That solid looks bed. better. That looks better. Well, this is going to take me a few minutes, guys. So get your baits back down, and let's keep moving along while, while I work but this fish But you say, you know, up. generally, Joe, it's, it's a pretty short drift, you said. Like yeah. maybe a couple of minutes, something like that? Uh, about a minute to three minutes, depending on the, how fast the current's running. You got a nice fish here, guys. Oh, well, guess what? I'm in again, too. That did not take long. Well, it's going to take us a couple minutes to get Whoa, these up, baby. that's for sure. <laughs> Really some good action. Yeah, oh, I just got to see this fish. That's a good it's looking a fish. nice looking fish. That's a good right. looking cod right oh, there. Let me get gonna, mine in, I'll get the net for I'll you. I'll be needing the net on this one. Why don't you just leave him in the water? I'll just, again, one of the things you want to do here, hook the fish, side of the boat. You don't lift his head out of the water. Just keep him right beneath the surface. He's fine there. Rich, you working yours up yeah. okay? Actually, I, I actually think I'm working a double here, to be honest with you. Okay. I had that one shot. I had that fish a couple of cranks off the bottom, and then I got another nice slam. And, I think I, I think I might have picked up twins here, but we'll take I a look. I like seeing that. Joe, Thank that's you, a Joe. nice looking nice fish. fish right there. Real nice looking fish. Now, in terms of teeth or anything like that, these, these fish have some, but not much, right, Not Joe? much, not much. A little rough on the skin, though, if yeah. you put your hand in there. I got, right, I got this, right here, Joe. Guys. You can yeah, get back down. That. See, Rich is going to need a hand. He's got, oh, I can see he's got a nice, yeah. he's got a nice I got fish. A I, got, in there. I got a good fish here. This net is clear. Yeah, I was right about the twins, but that one on the bottom looks real special to me. All right. That, uh. That's ah, <laughs> baby. Oh yeah, that's a nice car. Now we are talking. Here we go. Get that baby up there. <laughs> hey now. Oh, this is what we came here for, and this is what we're doing. Come here, you. Yeah. How's that? There you go. <laughs> I love this place. Oh, this is amazing. This really These is. These are really. These are beautiful, beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. Well, you know what? I like to sit and admire your fish, but. I'm gonna get mine back in, actually. Or what do you think, Joe? That's a nice, that's a nice fish to keep. We'll, All right, so we'll put in. We'll for, keep, keep a couple of nice table. ones. I wasn't losing this one on the bottom, that's for sure. Let's flip this guy. That one will go, and uh, I'm gonna hang on to this one. Let's get back up and do this drift again. All right, twelve. Well, Rich, Ready? bring that in. I'll give, start us Give up him a little. Uh, get him up in the boat. Yeah. I'll start and move us up. Here we go. Visit the Northeast Angling website at neangling.com for nationwide saltwater charter directory, fishing news, and free fishing reports. You can also find dozens of techniques, tips, and tackle for every saltwater species. Now let's get back to the action. here with Captain Joe Huckemeyer of the Helen H. He moved us back on this drift and right away you got us into the fish. You know, it don't take long when you hit the right spot, I don't. You, know, you well, want to be right on the bottom when you're fishing the hard stuff. I noticed that you've switched to a clam bait now away from the jig. Oh, that was a hit and a half. <laughs> Ooh, what, what brought that decision on, Joe? Well, when we, uh, nice when, we, when we look at the fish finder and we see sand eels or herring or mackerel uh, swimming around the bottom where we're fishing, the jigs tend to work better. Uh, when they're grubbing on the bottom for crabs, the clams definitely work just, better. Just came into Andy. I yeah, think yeah, you're going to go. I think I'm wandering around. Okay. 
Yes, I, uh... No, the other way, Joe. Come on to me. Here we go. You know, one of the things you'd want to do, go down, Rich. You gotta go over Okay, here we go. One of the things you gotta do here, get three guys fishing on a boat. We got some nice sized fish here. You have to cooperate with each other. Now, Joe, what time of year can we do this? Year round. Really? On George's Bank, we have water temperatures in the 50 to 60 degree temperature, uh, 12 months a year. Oh, so the, uh, the temperature's cool enough so you can catch cod any time of the year. The best times are, are probably for bigger fish in November and December, and numbers of fish right through uh, the summer from there on. Really? You know, I don't, I don't think I have a cod here. I got a little bit, a little bit too much play in the tip on this when I set the hook. Maybe a pollock? It might be a pollock. It feels like a decent fish, too. Well, I, you know what, Joe, all these fish have been good here. And, you know, it's just a testament to how good this fishery really is. George's Bank is the center of the uh, population of, of cod. And uh, you, tend to, you tend to see more cod than the other ground fish species like uh, haddock and cusk and wolfish. But the cod fishing is, uh, is outstanding here. Yeah. Joe, keep, keep this one for the table? Uh, yeah, that's a nice one. That's a pretty fish. I think he's going to make it to the table. This fish is giving me a tussle. All right, Rich, well, we're ready to help you when you need it. You know, Joe's a lot more of a gentleman than I am because <laughs> he took his rod out. He's waiting there patiently. So, Joe, you got the net, okay? I can't, okay. I can't tell you the last time I was sweating while I was drilling up a codfish. I can say that much. I mean, this is just Let me amazing. slip by there and get the net. Conditions Jesus, and the I think we're going to have to, this guy gets his fish in, we're going to have to buy him a drink. <laughs> I'm going to have to buy me a nap. Come on, baby, let's get up here now. It's time to put the screws to this fish a little bit. Again, you really don't want to pump the rod too much. No, you want to keep it fairly steady. You don't want to pull a hook. You know, with yeah, some nice steady pressure. I'm just going to make sure I'm clear of you before I drop this down. With that depth of water, you know, you almost feel inclined to lean the rod on the rail sometimes. <laughs> Crack for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, here we go. I think we're finally getting close on this guy, Joe. Oh, here he comes. Oh, there's, oh, that's a nice looking fish. Oh, yeah, fish. Yep. I think you might have had a double on there and one of them got you know, off. It felt like it because that first initial hit and the weight that I had initially was a lot heavier. But hey, I'm not complaining with this fish, that's for sure. They're nice. He's a All these fish, fish are good here. You go up and do this drift again? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to get my, my rig up. Let's go, guys. Come okay. on back here with Captain Joe Huckemeyer, the Helen H. We just moved back up on our drift. Oh, oh and Joe's oh, in. Oh, that looks oh. nice. I got one too, guys. Doubling up. Do Ooh, I like oh. what I I like when that first, like, five, ten feet of drag comes out. I just have to look on them fish. Right, I'll tell you, you got some solid fish here. They roll around right right when you first hook them. They try and roll off the hook. That's what gives you the extra pull. Joe, what kind of bottom are we on right now? This is rocky bottom, and uh, there tends to be a lot of crab life and, and small, uh, small bait fish piling up behind the rocks, and uh, that's what draws the cod here. Now, you've got us in about 200 feet of water here. Could we have fished some other depths for these fish this time of year? Does it change? This time of the year, the, the 150 to 200 foot of depth, uh, depth of water is, is probably the best. Uh, we do have times in the early winter where we're fishing as shallow as 30 feet. Wow. We've seen times where we've had uh, fish chasing other fish up and you'd see them from the surface, wow. seeing a cod from the surface. You, you tend to go to the jigs when that happens, right, Joe? Yes, yeah, the, they were chasing sand eels at that time, and that's what, uh, that's what gets them excited on the jigs. Guys, I'm gonna probably need a little head netting help at some point. But... I think I'm actually tied into you with this one, Joe, because I'm losing the weight on my sinker here. Okay. Yeah, I think I might be in with you. Let me just try <sighs> to feel it. You know? Yeah, somebody's deaf. I'm definitely tied in with somebody. Oh, I'm gonna come up nice and slow. You sure? Yeah. I don't think it's me. I'm way back behind the boat I here. I think I might be tied in with you. It happened. That's why, well, obviously, yeah. you know, working on a party boat and running a party boat, I'm sure you see you see a share tangles. Yeah. <laughs> but in a way, this is good, because if I have a fish on here, you're bringing it up for me. So I'm just going <laughs> to take my time and reel it nice and slow. <laughs> hey, Rich, could you uh, do me a favor and just, if you get a chance, to slide the net back over by yeah, me? Yeah, I'll get that for you. Well, I'll tell you guys, oh. I got a doubleheader, a really gonna, nice fish here. I'm going to bow out of this picture here and get the net back. Thank you. Yeah, I got a single Joe's hit. got a good sized fish up on top, but I got Whoa, two really good fish. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Look at the whales coming up behind us. We got two whales coming right. Three whales. Rich, I got a couple oh, whales. I'm looking at right a whale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to try to get the bottom, get the bottom one, one first. first. There oh. we go. Now that is a healthy double. I'm looking behind. I don't know which way to go. Whales look and whale cod. <laughs> whales and whale cod. Very nice, Joe. Now, again, very important with this. When you net these fish, Point that handle straight up in the air and lift. You don't want to put all that pressure on the net by holding it out. You know what? Those are a couple of Joe. A couple of nice George's Bank codfish. Oh, yeah. Right Absolutely. Whew. Couple of meals my, there. my arms are shaking from reeling <laughs> these guys up.
I was like, ah, you know, how many how many pounds of cod do I have here in my hand? It's probably about 30 pounds there. Guys, we're I'm off looking. the piece. Let's get around these whales and get back up again. Come on. It's amazing okay. how much life is here. Visit the Northeast Angling YouTube channel for hundreds of videos, including full-length episodes, exciting clips, product reviews, and instructional videos. And now, the exciting conclusion of Northeast Angling. You know, you guys, uh, you guys are working at clam baits down on the bottom there. I mean, and I got a, about a 16-ounce jig here where the tees are up, and I'm gonna go down with this and see what we can do. Joe, there's a, a lot of different ways you can work a jig. Actually, what are the best ways to work a jig? Well, when there's a lot of bait around, squidding slowly five, five to ten turns off the bottom works quite well. And uh, also when the fish are tight to the bottom, jigging, just jigging straight up and down, like today where there's not as much uh, uh, herring or sand eels around, that would be the way to go. I got you. Now, now Joe, while we're doing this, I'm feeling a couple of soft yep. taps. Yeah, a little go. fish. And what do we have, some smaller fish here? There's, there's quite often a mix of, uh, of large and small fish this time of the year. It's not all uh, schooled, one size fish uh, schooled together. So now I'm on the bottom now. I got my jig down there. So basically one motion up straight with the rod, keeping contact with the bottom. And I guess you feel these fish on a fall a lot. And yeah, a lot, of, on the way up. a lot of times you'll, you'll, you'll jig will go slack on the way down. You got the hit and then you got to come up again and you'll hook them. The, uh, the conditions today, it's, uh, the fish are tight to the bottom, grabbing the bait. The jigs work well also as long as you keep tight to the bottom. And then that squidding motion would be yeah. five or six five turns. Five or six turns back, right down, back down, five or six turns. You know, very similar to bluefish, Andy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Joe's hooked up there. There you go. Looks a little better, Joe. Yep. You know, I'm sitting here in 200 feet of water thinking I've got no bait. Well, that's a horrible thing. <laughs> that's, the, that's the other reason I went to the jig, Joe. I ain't got to worry about my bait. But, uh, I mean, just, you know, a day like today with the conditions, just, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. You know, and, you know, just this whole area, we got whales breaking around the boat. And just right straight behind us is one coming up right oh, now. on a jig. There he is. There he is on the jig. This fish is still pounding down on me here. I got some color on him now. I see, Joe, you got, looks like you got a solid one there as well. Yep, yep. Oh, Rich, that's a nice fish. Nice fish on a jig. Went right for the chrome. Yes, he did. I'm gonna lift him right up and in. Oh, that's a pretty fish right there. Oh, got... Joe, that looks nice. Yep. Well, that looks some nice. Some shoulders on this one. Jeez, I, I'm feeling a little bad here because I have a sneaking suspicion that I have the smallest one of the group. There he goes. Well, wow. you know what, Joe? I'm gonna kind of get out of your way. Well, he might need some help with that, that fish on the surface. He looks like he's got a good fish on there. But you know, Joe, we just talked about it, different techniques on how to work the jig, and as soon as we said that, this guy jumped right on. And like I said, I was uh, I was squidding. I was about three or four cranks off the bottom when he hit. And you know what? This fish looks like he's going to make it back okay. He's got a lot of life to him. I want to put him head first, send him straight down, get him on his merry way, and yep. let's see what you got. Yeah, he might need the net for that. I've got that, Rich. Close. I got him covered. All right, I'm going to leave my jig up, and I want to I want to work with you too, Joe. Let's see what you got here. But Joe, I'm a big fish for this time of season, what would you consider? Uh, 30 to 40 pounds. Yeah? Yeah. And you see uh, pretty common or? Uh, a few a trip. Yeah. A few a trip. We see nice, uh, nice size fish last trip out. We had a 41. Did you? What other mixes is there? Do you, I know you get some wolffish every now and we then. We see a few wolffish, uh, some nice big haddock during the summer months, and uh, nice big pollock this year. Big, big pollock this year. Eating yeah. wise, what's your favorite? Oh, the cod. Are they? Yeah, I love yeah, the cod. I agree with you there. Well, this guy's getting there. You got the net for him? I yeah, I got him. Yeah. I see a little got bit of color. color. I'm going to be all over this fish. There he is. Ooh, that looks like a nice fish. That looks like a really nice fish. Woo-hoo! Slide him in here head first. Oh, yeah. That's Look a good at one. that. That's a beauty. That is a beautiful yep. fish. That is oh. oh, very nice. You know, I noticed, Joe, you actually bowed to that fish a little bit when you set up on it, too. Gave him a chance to eat a little bit. Yeah, when you first get the hit sometimes, especially when you're drifting, you want to you back, back up a little or or free spool a little so he gets a chance to grab the whole bait and you don't pull the, uh, the bait and the hook away from him. So you, you. Yeah, because you're drifting so fast and you, you free spool back like 10, 12 feet at one point and I say you really work that fish hard. Yeah, that kind of makes sure that, uh, that you don't pull the bait away from the fish. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah, that's, that's a good a, one. That's a really solid one. These are the kind of fish that are here and you know, it was everything that you said it was going to be. I'm glad you had a good time. It's amazing. 
you know, like I said, yeah, summer, middle of the summer, August, catching these fish like this, and uh, it's just been wonderful. I can't thank you enough. Thanks again, Joe. Well, I'm going to get this fish back in the water, and Rich, well, no, I see Joe looking at me, it's going to go back in the box. <laughs> <laughs> and off we go. He said, don't take his dinner away. <laughs> he just said he likes to eat cod more than anything else out there, so <laughs> let's roll. Let's do it. Thank you for watching Northeast Angling. You can learn more about techniques, tackle, and destinations as seen on this show at neangling.com. See you on the water.